Welcome to Minute Fact Monday, where I take a minute or two to discuss interesting topics. So, let's learn something. People normally perceive blue as a cold color and red as a hot color. But ironically enough, as the universe would have it, it shows us that it's actually just the opposite. The color of fire on Earth is mostly determined by what is actually being burned, rather than the temperature in most cases. This is why we can make different color fires, like green and blue and pink. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it's hotter than the other colors. So to understand why blue is hot and red is cold, we need to look at how temperature impacts how electromagnetic energy is released from specific objects. If we take a look at the spectrum going from radio waves to gamma rays, we can see that visible light takes up a very small part of it. That said, if we look at what is known as a black body, an object that absorbs just about all the electromagnetic radiation that strikes it, stars being a good example, we find that as they are heated up by incoming radiation, they re-emit energy at different intensities of electromagnetic energy, including visible light. So if we take a look at the sun, which the sun's surface is about 6,000 Kelvin, we find that the peak of the electromagnetic energy that it releases is coincidentally in the visible light spectrum. The majority of the visible light that the sun gives off is more of a bluish green color, but our eyes are only able to perceive white out of that due to the interference of multiple colors. This is why the sun looks white in outer space. On Earth, we see the sun is yellow because our atmosphere displaces the blue, making our atmosphere look blue, leaving just yellowish colors left to represent the sun. The hottest surface temperatures of any stars recorded is about 30,000 Kelvin. Being that the highest intensity of visible light that our eyes are able to perceive are bluish and purple colors, the hottest stars in the universe produce a bluish white color, being that there are other colors that are interfering, making almost what is known as white light. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Minifact Monday. My question for you guys is, if you could make the sun any color you wanted, what color would you pick? And with all that said and done, my name's Dale, this is Think Fact, and remember, never stop learning. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos. And feel free to check out some of my more in-depth videos where I take more time to discuss interesting topics.